Mario. Well, you know, we are we are here today. Um, we are we are here today because of the women retreat. You know, women retreat in the in state of um, you know South Africa, and uh, we are here to support the women progress of the Unity Party. I'm here with uh, Aaron Bedjo Costa. We are here. Uh, we are also in preparation of the arrival of our. Political leader and Ambassador Iman Kwakai, who will be arriving pretty soon, and uh, there are other activities that we'll be talking to you all about. But for tonight, we are here exclusively to build momentum for the arrival of the political leader of the Union Party and the chairman of the CPP. All right. But there were certain circumstances beyond his control that prohibited him from being there. However, he sent a very beautiful message which will be played shortly. And in that message, he explains why he could not be there. And he expresses his excitement and, uh, you know, in anticipation of his trip, he will be arriving as Mr. William said very soon. And uh, he's going to have a beautiful time in the U.S. And we're looking forward to receiving you. We cannot tell you what day exactly, but in less than 48 hours. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Um, the place is right here. Everybody moving around. And because of the noise, okay, as you can see the momentum, all we want to say is you are watching this, and we're going to say this together. Sing Liberia, love Liberia, build Liberia. Well, it does. Um, these, these are women and gentlemen from all over the U.S. who love Liberia, who have come here to mobilize resources to contribute towards building li Liberia uh, throughout their daily lives. They think Liberia and have come to raise money to contribute back home, you know, towards the efforts back home. That's why. Thank you. I'm happy to be here to celebrate with these wonderful people. Thank you.
I bring you double promotion. I give you the people who have brought me the wrong place. Lord, let me go now and get it. I don't want to do this. I will help, but I have it. strength, hard work, and unflinching dedication to our unity party, by partisans like you in the diaspora, who continue to uphold loyalty to and cherish for the vision and mission of the unity party. I am sure by now you all know that I have taken on the mantle of chairmanship of the collaborating political parties, CPP, while holding you with the details of all CPP's internal differences over the past weeks, which also surfaced in the public glare, both at home and abroad. I must admit that 
that since we sign on May 19, 2020, the framework document to create our alliance, known today as CPP, we have together experienced serious picking problems and growing pains along the way. But most important, however, I want to assure you our partisans in the back room that under my leadership, we intend to play a reconciliation role in order to preserve our unity as a formidable opposition as we approach the 2023 elections. Despite naysayers and our detractors, we remain united notwithstanding the turbulences we have experienced for the past 16 months of existence as one of the constituent parties in the CPP. Now, as CPP chair, we shall therefore not look back on the past, but become forward looking in order to enhance the collective purpose for which we came together. As your Senator Baron, I also urge you, as you be partisan in the diaspora, to become forward looking in order to settle whatever organizational disputes you are experiencing so that we can work together to remain a strong and united opposition, which will ensure that Mr. Wheeler will become the one time president. I therefore wish that this retreat will prove to be the most productive, rewarding, and mutually beneficial to all of our partisans, whether at home or in the diaspora. Finally, to my unity party women, let me assure all of you of my continued committed support in all of your endeavors and other activities that are geared towards unity party's goals and mission. And also, I want to remind you that in all we do and say, in Liberia, love Liberia, and we together build Liberia. Thank you. 
I'm so grateful today. I want to tell the Almighty God, thank you for bringing me this far. And I want to appreciate everybody that stood here today and support me, including my darling husband, Mr. George, everybody secure. As your seven, a humble queen. Being a queen is not the thing, but you carry a lot of responsibility. So I'm willing to work with the women. So, women that will stand for domestic abuse. Women that will stand for human trafficking. Women that will stand for children. And also women integrity. This queen that is standing here today, uh -uh. this queen that is standing here today is a woman that loves to move. I'm not a queen that sit down. I will work with you people, like I said, with all the women. And also, I want to say to our women that I want to work with people that stand for justice and system. Because if we don't have system, we will not have things going on. <laughs> system where our children, our mothers, father, brother, sister will be taken to the hospital where they don't have to register our critical needs to enter a hospital to be treated. That's what I'm talking about, women. Women that will stay in gap where our poor, less fortunate, people that don't have money, in a court with a rich man and be judged according to the case, not what about who know you and who don't know you. So today, I want to say thank you to everybody for supporting me and my arms is open. You can get my number. I'm available at any time. We can put that together, brainstorm to make Liberia a better place. So let us know Liberia, take Liberia, and build Liberia. Thank you.
Wonderful people. I want to thank uh, the women. You know, in every organization, if you wanted to grow and be strong, look for women. Hard working women. In those cases, women are hard, hard working. When they are committed, they are committed. They know how to raise money, they know how to mobilize, they know how to keep the organization alive. Only those who want to lead and not know how to lead would not go and seek out hard working women. So let's give it up for the women. And uh, so, as you all are aware, I'm not a member of the Unity Party, but I am a Daha Joseph Wakai supporter. And because I came to know Joseph Wakai in the second round of the elections in 2017, George Weah called me. Then Joe Wakai called me. I went to see Joe Wakai. I didn't even care to see George Weah. I was convinced that this was the right man to be president. But you see, God has a way of doing things. That was not the time. 2023 is the time. Sometimes, sometimes, you see when I ran for representative and I lost, I thank God I lost. You know why? Sometimes, the things you think you want in life, that's not what God wants for you. Or that's not the time. God, God may delay what you want, what you think is best for you, so he can give you what is better for you. Liberia needed to experience George Weah. That thing that was in your system, Togo and Poison, 2020, 2017. I told them you did it, Jologo. It may be better, though, but it will clean your system. You will get wet. You did it, Poison. You will die. Now that's what died. They died. Now they don't want to die. You see, now they realize and God preserved Joe Bwakai for this moment. Joe Bwakai is the one who will rescue this country, stabilize it, restore credibility, bring integrity, decent people, real investors who come to the country, now fly by night, babati people there come in looking for money, and the country will begin to do well. There's a time for everything, and I'm very honored to be part and parcel of this team. Group. All of you wonderful people helping to make this dream come true. He's looking forward to his visit. I'm humbled and honored to be this chair on the steering committee for his trip. And we've been working with many of you wonderful people here, and we're planning a very important trip for him for the next three weeks. He's going to be meeting with some people whose names I can't call yet, but if I call yet, you will start jumping all over the place. But it's all good for us. The people from here know that the people down there, they're not serious. They want the right man. And they think Joe Bwaka is the right man. That's it. Joe Bwaka got any day. All the la la things we used to hear. Oh, the man gets to the man gets see the man gets so so lies. He's very active, very sharp. That man can be explaining story to me from 50 years ago. I will leave you a story he told me. And I will go and sit down. He said, Henry, 
The reason why I like to take anything that doesn't belong to me because I learned three lessons when I was in CWA. Somebody would take it in here. It will not, fall, it will not break. By the time I 30, for the first time, it break. He said he had a chemistry teacher, Mrs. Smith or something. And the chemistry teacher said, when you heat glass, it goes to the science lab. If you heat glass at a set at a certain temperature temperature, it will bend, but it will not Decent people earn good credit and they live off of it. And Joseph Newman Baka is the next president of Liberia and he will think Liberia, love Liberia, and he will build Liberia. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. 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 Uh, please take your, your, your ASC and CDC everybody there on your way to Delaware with you, okay? We don't have much room for them. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as many of you know, the fight means I have met on the field. And this calling to say he is one of those frontline commanders that we have out there. Uh, I want to say before he come up. Georgia, and we started in 2005, and then we went 2011. Um, Henry, that's why I met Henry Costa on CDC. Um, but all along, we knew that this man was the right person. But some of us follow football. 
That's the truth. I own a football team in Liberia, and I used to try to play the game at the time Georgia was playing. So I was already in the military in Iraq, and then I heard that Georgia was running for president. You know, and the way it happened was that there's a, a troop, a troop of my called Zappa. He came to me and said, hey, man, there's an African guy running for president, but he's from Libya. So I'm happy to be here, 
And I can walk up to the boss that was in front of the center. You know, get that down. You can't move for it. I'm not saying that your mom will never come to the boss. It's such that I'm from even a win. Tomorrow, that will be done. Please 
this in chapter 11 so that we can form part of a delegation that will have a meeting around 11 around 11 a.m. 11 a.m. on Monday on these days for chapter 11. It's very important. We will have that for GM. If you can, if you cannot, there is additional function coming up over the weekend. Uh, Saturday, 15 p.m. the 6th of November. Thank you. And JNP will make you feel available to answer questions. And I'm going to take my pride and my progress. Just get some progress. So, again, where are you? 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 I don't want to follow the rule of the Alleged Poor, I want to follow the rule of the Alleged Poor. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to do it. I'm afraid. I would like to come on. I need to let you know our leadership. We have George Ngobo. Please put your hands together for him.
So, Ramon, please. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the United Party, we are not perfect, but we are identifying the problem and we are making it an attempt to solve it. We will succeed if we are work together. We'll continue to struggle if we don't work together. However, we believe we can do it with our other people. But we also understand that when we do it together, success is sure. And we are guaranteed that victory will come. No matter what happens and what is happening within the United States, remember it is an internal conflict and treat it as such. It will be resolved. And when we resolve, we will all sit at the table at the end of the day. With that being said, I want to say please put your hands together for all these beautiful people here.